Welcome to the FuseNet How-To Series. This video is about accessing population and demographic data in the spatial domain of the FuseNet Data Explorer. I'm Zoe Wingate, the FuseNet Documentation Specialist. In this video, you'll learn to include population and demographic data in spatial downloads and to choose a population data source and year. From the homepage of the Data Explorer, I'll choose the spatial domain from the left-hand side and using the geographic filter, I'll search for the Democratic Republic of the Congo. I'm going to select the census admin boundaries for this example. And let's scroll down and take a quick look at our initial table. Looking at the customized sidebar on the right hand side, we see that geographic information only is selected by default for population data. Now let's go ahead and select to include population estimates, including male and female breakdown. And now our table has updated as well as our API link, and we can see that we have estimated population, population density, and the breakdown by male and female. Now I'm going to select to include demography estimates, including full age and sex breakdown. And our table updates showing that we now have the full information here, and this is also reflected in our API link down here. Now let's take a look at choosing the population source. By default, we're using population estimates from LandScan 2021 and demography estimates from WorldPop 2020. I can choose to select data from the DRC Health Ministry for the year 2020 and my table is updated here with the information for that source and year. And it's also reflected in the data source down in the API link. So now I can adjust the file format if I need to, and I can either download the static data set or use the refreshable link to automatically fetch data from the server. Thank you for watching. For more information, go to help.fuse.net slash FDE. And don't forget to subscribe to the FuseNet channel for more how-tos.